Hi everyone, today I am going to tell you a very short story from Mahabharat. And uh, the name of the story is Pitamaha Bhishma's Advice to Yudhishthir. So let me begin. When Pitamaha Bhishma was uh, on the bed of arrows, that time when the uh, war was over, then Yudhishthir came to Pitamaha Bhishma and cried before him. He said, O Pitamaha, because of me only now I, I could see the, condi- uh, the miserable condition of yours. And I am a really sinful person who tortured you in this condition. If uh, like Duryodhan and his brothers, they are so fortunate that uh, they are not here to see such painful sight. That is why I am blaming myself that I am an, a very sinful person and very unfortunate. Then Pitamaha Bhishma said, O son, O Yudhishthir, what for you are cursing yourself? You are a noble person. This whatever is happening is happening through destiny. It was always predestined. You are nothing and I am nothing. So don't worry. I will tell you a story. Just listen to me. Then Pitamaha Bhishma started. There was a lady whose name was Gautami. She had only one son. And one day, her son was killed by snake biting. So, she cried. But she knew that it was in her fate. So, she couldn't do anything. But listening her uh, cry, a hunter named Arjun, Arjunaka, Arjunaka, he came running and asked Gautami, Oh mother, what happened? Why you are crying? Then this lady Gautami told him everything that I had only one son and he died of snake uh, poison. Then Arjunaka became very angry. He was a hunter. So he said, Oh mother, don't worry. Right now I will bring that snake to you and I will punish him. Or whatever punishment you want to give, give him. So he went and somehow he caught the snake. Then he tied the snake on a rope and brought him to this Gautami. Then Arjunaka asked, O oh mother, tell me what type of punishment you want to give him, whether I should cut it him into pieces or I should throw it into the burning fire. Whatever you want, I will do that. Then Gautami said, O oh son, don't be involved this type of in this type of sin. My son is already dead. By killing this snake or giving any punishment, My son will not come back again. And it is predestined. So everybody uh, feels, means everybody enjoys their own karma fala. So don't worry. Leave it. Let him go. Why unnecessarily you will be, you will kill uh, a living creature? Then Arjunaka said, Oh mother, don't show any mercy to this sinful uh, animal and without any reason the snake knew very well that that was a child and he didn't do any wrong thing why did he kill him after the argument between Gautami and uh, that hunter then the snake said oh Arjunaka if you think that I am sinful I am not at fault at all it is not my fault you ask Yamdev, why did he 
asked me to kill him and it is not my fault then arjuna as immediately at that time young dev came then he said means the god of death he said look i am not at fault everybody runs on the command of kala and that kala is nothing but time and we are mere puppets on the hand of time the child was predestined to die with snake biting and and i am bound to obey his order and so also the snake was bound to listen to me so we can't do anything we are not at fault that at last arjunaka said ki o kala the he asked yamdev ki who was that kala and who was that time then the god of death said o arjunaka you ask time only he is everywhere and he controls everything at last gautami said o arjunaka o hunter please if you want that you will obey my words the whatever punishment i will give you agree then please release the snake let him go because whatever is in his fate he has to suffer in that way you should not be involved yourself in any type of sinful act thus the lady uh, gave her statement and arjunaka the hunter released the snake thus pitamaha bhishma said ki o yudhishthi you are such a noble person you are virtuous you are a dharmik so why do you curse yourself it is not your fault that i am suffering today it is my own destiny it is my own karma fall so don't worry then but again and again yudhishthir was asking and pitamaha bhishma was telling him the story is one after another once again i will tell you another story what pitamaha bhishma told to yudhishthir for the timing this much thank you so much